So Ghana has been making some serious waves in the tech world lately. In fact, the country is now about to make some serious internet upgrades. We are talking about a nationwide affordable 5G network for everyone. And that is going to be a game changer for the beautiful country and the entire African continent. Now I'm happy to announce, and you're the first to hear this, that building on this rural telephony project model, approval has just been granted for the establishment of a neutral shared infrastructure company delivering nationwide 4G and exclusive 5G services in Ghana by a consortium of existing network operators and private investors. I'm excited at the opportunity this will provide for scaling up access to affordable high-speed broadband internet services nationwide. I'm told that high-speed broadband um, connectivity is only available to about 10% of internet users in this country. With this, we're hoping to treble the access, high-speed broadband access across the country. Ghana is set to become one of the first African countries to offer a widespread 5G network. But there is a twist. They are taking a unique approach with a company called Next Gen Infrastructure Company, NGIC for short. So let's think of NGIC as a digital highway. This company will build and manage the infrastructure, making it accessible to all mobile network operators in Ghana. This shared network approach aims to keep costs down, making 5G affordable for everyone in the country. This initiative is a collaboration between the government of Ghana, Radices Corporation, which is a subsidiary of Reliance Industries owned by Asian's richest man, Mukesh Ambani and a tech giant like Nokia and Microsoft. In fact, it is a big investment. NGIC plans to pour over 145 million US dollars into Ghana's infrastructure over the next three years. Ghana's Minister of Communication, Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufo, sees this as a game changer. With this, we're hoping to treble the access, high-speed broadband access across the country. Affordable 5G will boost internet connectivity across the country and some nearby countries as well. Our commitment to technological advancement goes beyond our borders as we believe in growing with the rest of the continent. And so we're building our fiber networks to our borders to enable easy connectivity to our neighboring countries. It is a key step in achieving their digital vision. Ghana is inspired by Indian success with low-cost mobile data and want to replicate that in Ghana. This Indian's low-cost data system was built by Ambani's Geo, which shook up the market with low-cost data plans and free voice call. Geo's strategy is credited with making mobile internet accessible to hundreds of millions of Indians today. And that is exactly what Ghana is going to do. Here is the thing. NGIC won't directly sell you data plans. In fact, they will provide a backbone for existing mobile operators like MTN Ghana, Telesel Ghana, and AT Ghana to offer the 5G services to their customers. This will foster competition, which will help keep prices even lower. With a rapid growing internet user in Ghana, which is over 70%, the country is primed for this technological leap. Affordable 5G networks promises faster downloads, smoother streaming, and a whole new level of mobile connectivity. This is a big step toward a more digital future for Ghana and Africa. Imagine students downloading textbooks in an instant, businesses collaborating seamlessly online, and folks in remote areas finally getting connected. The possibilities are endless. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get Ghana connected with this kind of innovation. The future of Ghana and Africa is looking brighter. So stay tuned because we will be back to explore how this 5G revolution is unfolding. And that is all for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video, Makrao.